Welcome back to Project Box. In this episode, we are going to uh, answer a question I got from one of my subscribers. He uh, wants to know how to take uh, a STL file, like one that you can find on Thingiverse, and cut it in half to print in two separate parts. For example, if it's too big for your printer or you just want a larger print, or for some reason you want to make it into a puzzle, I guess. Um, how you would do that from STL file and also enlarge it. So we'll go through two different ways to enlarge it and uh, the way that I'll be showing you how to actually slice the STL file in half, uh, I will be using the design software SketchUp and SketchUp Make is free. You just have to go to SketchUp's website and then go to the product projects, press SketchUp Make, and just download. <clears throat> Once that's installed, uh, you can go just Google search SketchUp STL, and uh, SketchUp has a free STL importer and S exporter. You just have to download that, and then once that's downloaded, I'll show you how to install that quick. We'll just go to SketchUp. And where you go is to the file. I'm sorry, it's actually under Tools. I mean Window. Under Preferences, go under your Extensions, and then go to Install and Extension. Uh, click on the the file you just downloaded and, and press Open, and then you'll have uh, your STL Import and Export uh, selected here. Uh, once you have that, we'll get rid of her quick. You can go under File, Import, and now under your file types you'll have STL as an import. Okay, so we'll quick go to Thingiverse, and I already picked out uh, just a simple model to make this example uh, quick and easy. Uh, we'll just download the Minecraft Creeper, since it's a pretty simple model. And here's the STL. Uh, just click on that to download it. Uh, and I have it on the desktop right now. Right here under Creeper or New. So we'll go into SketchUp, go File, Import. Make sure this is selected so you can see the STL. And then there's the Creeper New open. Okay, zoom in. Because this should be one to one. Sometimes it's not if it's in metric. Uh, so we have the creeper and let's say uh, first of all you want to make this piece bigger uh, we'll do it first here in SketchUp by going right here to the scale tool and then you can click on it and make it uh, proportional or if you just want to make it fatter or skinnier for some reason you can do that on SketchUp uh, but we'll do it proportional we'll just say we want it uh, five times the size. Just press five and down here you'll see where the scale is. So you can just press five, enter. Now it's five times the size. So now it's not going to fit on your printer or it's just big. You want to print it two different pieces. Uh, we'll take, we'll just make a quick plane. And I'm just going to make this into a group. And that's just so that uh, this plane doesn't get stuck in the creeper or your model. We'll move it. Uh, let's say we just want to make this in half this way. So get your plane where you want it so that this plane will be the slicing piece of the uh, model. Uh, select the whole model and then make sure it's exploded, it's not an actual group or component. Uh, and then go right click and press uh, insert insect faces with model. Okay, Now you see that there's a line that went through the whole entire model. So we can delete this plane now because we don't need it. And we are going to copy this over so we can have both sides. So we're going to move our control, we can move it over. So now you can take the eraser and erase the one side or 
just to be quicker, we'll select everything on this side to delete and all the planes out. And on this side, we'll do the same thing for this. There you go. So now we need to make sure that this model is uh, enclosed. Okay, there you go. So now you have your STL file you got from Thingiverse in two separate pieces. So we'll just quick make this into a group so it's easier for our uh, slicing program or so that we can make these into two separate files. Okay, so then I'm just going to select this one. So we'll just export this one for now. And just go to fi File, Export STL. And then I'll just export it with the, those options. And I will name it Test. Save. Okay, now we can get out of SketchUp. and then we'll see that the test STL file is right here. So we'll go into Cura. Cura is also a free software. This is just to show you uh, the STL file that we just did. Okay, and then we can just go to File, Load, Model. There's our test file. Open. There it is in half. And then in, in Cura we can actually make this, uh, well most of the slicing programs, you can actually go into it and actually scale it from here. Uh, so we can actually go and scale it up to the five times in here too. And this is actually uh, for my printer layout. So you can go into the controls and cure and make it your own so you can actually see how big uh, this is going to be and then you can or orientate it how you wish and print it okay so thank you for watching let me know if you have any other questions that you'd like me to show you how to uh, address for any anybody new to 3d printing this is a pretty simple uh, video on how to um, thanks for watching